Alrighty, um... Yeah, now we can talk to Twilly. Five eggs? Wowzers. <laughs> Which one is the real dragon egg? I know, use the portal and ask Warlick the mage to help. Warlick. You have five eggs, all which look identical. Use the travel, or the... Use the travel Griffin, your guardian tower, to visit Warlick. He's a powerful mage who may know the secret to finding out which of these is the real egg. I think I can just, uh... There we go. Elemental foothills. Although Warlick isn't standing here right now. Um, let's talk to this girl. Sai. Hi, I'm Nithera. Nithera. I don't know how to say her name. I apologize. I am Warlick's apprentice, and someday, very soon, I'll be a far greater mage than he ever could be. Warlick? Warlick is a great mage, but with his power, he could be so much more. One day he will teach me his secrets, and I won't be afraid to use them. Of course, he might never teach me what I want. If that is the case, then I will simply take the power for myself. Self. <laughs> Whoops. Nithera seems deep in thought. I wonder if Reens has that new batch of po po er, rat poison ready for me yet. Where is he? I don't know. I'm not his keeper. He disappeared after the darkness. What? If you really want, I can cast an illusion so you can hear him babbling about everything but what I want to hear about. Hello. Interesting, very interesting. I am Warlick the Blue Mage. How can I help you? Rogue. Blue Mage? Ah, you see, black, white, and red mage were already taken. Taken. Interesting indeed. We'll probably cover the other quests some other time. But right now, Dragon Egg. Warlick's Tent. A Dragon Egg? So you have five eggs and can't tell them apart. Interesting. Please step into the tent and tell me more. This is a lot more roomy than it looks from the outside. I wouldn't have expected stone walls in a t inside a tent. Oh, we're not in a tent. It's just a port. This is the portal that leads here to my mage tower. We pay a little more for the extra dimensions, but we thought that it would be worth the rent. We? Yes, me and my roommate Cicero. He's the dude in the green that we always run by on like the second screen to the right. He's a decent roommate, mostly because he's gone most of the time. Anyway, Twilly told me how these eggs came into your possession. You've had quite an adventure so far. Yeah, that's one way to put it. I've begun doing research on the black and white dragon boxes. The texts are ancient and difficult to translate, but it looks bad. If I'm correct, the texts say that this egg will hatch the great dragon that will destroy all of lore. Huh? We may be able to avert the, this catastrophe, but first we need to reveal which is the true dragon egg. I have a good feeling about this one, but, we'll, but we will need a power spell to dispel the illusion. Illusion? I don't see any illusion. It wouldn't be a very good illusion if you could tell it was an illusion, dude. Of course not, it's an illusion. There you go. All dragon eggs have natural magic, have a natural magic illusion around them that helps them helps protect them. I have to find a spell powerful enough to counter the dragon magic on the egg. While well, I do my research, make yourself at home. Feel free to make yourself a snack while you wait. I won't be very long. Wash the egg that will destroy lore very carefully. Fix myself a snack? Ten minutes later. <laughs> you made... You made the egg that could have possibly been a dragon egg into... 
Hunter, I have great news. As it turns out, I believe you have the egg that will hatch the dragon that will save all of Roar from destruction. <laughs> Don't worry, Warlick. I handle. I already handled the problem my own way, and it's delicious. <laughs> Want some? Uh, no, thank you. So you cooked the egg? Yep. You cooked the dragon egg that would have saved the world. And I ate part of it. You said that it was going to destroy the world. You also said to fix a snack. To be fair, if it was going to destroy the world, that's a delicious solution. Quickly, did the egg taste like honey and mackerel? You know, nasty. No, it tasted like a normal fried egg. Okay, then that wasn't the dragon egg. One w one sure way to tell if an egg is a dragon egg is to taste test. Phew. So did you... Sp <laughs> why would it taste... Why does it taste like fish? <laughs> so did you find a spell that can tell us which is the real egg without tasting it? Unfortunately, no. The magic is very strong. We will have to summon a creature that feeds on dragon eggs to dispel the illusion for us. <clears throat> I need your help, hero. The ancient tome of summoning lies high in my tower behind a barrier that I cannot pass. Oh, some sort of magical force field that you can't penetrate? Not exactly. That tome is on Cicero's half of the tower. You see, his insane experiments in dirty laundry were driving me nuts. So he painted a yellow line separating his half from mine. Orlik, that isn't a very mature solution. Especially since you seem like such a level-headed guy. <laughs> You think so? Let's see if you feel that way after pa fighting past his magical accidents and enchanted filthy laundry. Complete quest. In an attempt to save the world, you cooked the egg that you thought was the dragon egg. Luckily, you were wrong. Oh my god. That is hilarious. That's about as far as I got recording last time. I covered all that ground in half an hour rather than an hour and a half. To be fair, I had to go on a wild goose chase for the quad force. There are only four now. I, uh... Okay, that text box is weird. I think it says, at least you're not hungry anymore, or at least I think that's what it should say. Whatever. You must re-enter my mage tower and recover the Tome of Summoning from the uppermost floor to the tower. Oh, well, there's the yellow line. Easy enough. Advanced practical joke. To... Someone want to tell me why the window is sideways? A sideways window? I'm glad the game thinks it's as weird as I do. Alright, so I seem to remember... Oh, from both times that I had to do this quest before, I remember it being a pain. Also, Sock Monkey. That's hilarious. Laundry Golem. Ouch. This thing looks intimidating. Bugbear? Okay. Why's it got Stegosaurus spines? It's also kind of weird that it's a. Uh, I like that its resistances are like odd. Like not even 50 or 100, it's like 12 and 101. Well, I mean, it's, a good, it's always a good idea to try and examine the stuff in the background because either it will say something funny or you can actually click on it. Not the case yet.
resisted the immobility effect. Bummer. Alright. Also in my last recording session, which is this will explain why I haven't bothered going full screen. I realized that you kind of travel slower when the screen's bigger. Like, obnoxiously slower. So, I just decided, because really, because I saw the other videos already, and they don't really change the ability to understand what's happening any better. Like, you can still read everything, you can still see everything clearly. Ah, the power of heal- the healing power of books. I think that's good for several times. Thankfully. Ouch. I don't know what that was exactly. It doesn't feel too good. Magic, or Magic Weapons and the Mages Who Make Them, Volume 3. I guess we'll go through this door, see if anything meets on that. Your hand passes through the handle. Weird. Now stuff is floating? Great. Floating stuff. Oh, really? Alrighty, that's a floating bookshelf. You must be on the right track. It's a good way to look at it. You think Cicero might have had a hand in this? Another magic door. Behind the door, you hear orbs asking each other if they want to buy weapons. Oh, yeah. Ah, the window isn't sideways. You are. You're running up the inside wall of the tower. <laughs> Plot twist. That's great, though. I love, I love that that's how the tower is structured. <coughs> Or at least that's how Cicero structured his half, is to go vertical. Like, do you think there were several stories, and then he uh, just removed the floors for his half? And what? Well, C minus? I wonder what that is. Oh, that must be the thing. Baka boss. I might get killed by this thing. I don't know. But if... If I do, there's no reason to lose my head over it. There is a healing bookshelf. We're going to, uh... Attack him, probably heal ourselves, and then give ourselves a mana potion. Ow. Use rapid attack first. No, no, I think we got this. Ow. I'm about to eat my words here. It's hitting me pretty hard. Ouch. Throw. That was a little disappointing. Alright, suck it. Crossing the line. <laughs> uh, 
After discovering that you were not walking along a hallway, but in fact walking sideways up the tower. <laughs> Seriously, though. It's great. And successfully fighting your way past Cicero's accidental creations and enchanted piles of laundry, you found the spellbook. Dude, I need to borrow your healing pad. Actually, I don't know why I'm gonna wait for that to do it for me. I hope he didn't accidentally register that as me wanting to talk to Nathera. Well, uh, stings of flame, or strings of flame. We must summon an unspeakably powerful creature to determine which egg is the right one. To summon it, I require several regents. Reagents. Venture into a into the fire cave north of here, and you can find a bag of fire yarn. Oh, great! My weapon is made of fire. It means I have to switch to something else. Cave he was referring to. Fiery Heart, Mount Shining Star. It's got some nice jams to go with it though, so I don't complain that much. Unfortunately, I gotta take a nerf weapon now, or a weapon debuff. Also, luckily, doesn't seem like the monsters are very strong. I stand corrected. Oh. Oh, they're both the same amount of of course if this always proves too troublesome I'll just, I'll just go get a friend and by friend I mean Valencia since she hits like a maniac my life is gone and I've only fought two battles. That's not good. Well, of course that fountain heals me at the beginning, like I think it does. I don't know. Usually it will tell you in spite of not actually mattering. Alright, well. That was a valiant effort. Oh, it does heal me. Nice. I just kind of quit trying there because I didn't know for sure if it was going to be worth it. I'll try going the other way. Thank god things don't respawn on you. Just fight the dude that's by himself here. That makes life easier.
Ouch. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, really? Screw you guys. <laughs> really? You hit me for 32. You know, whatever. It's gonna be more bad news. I don't really want to waste a potion trying to do this though. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Heal ourselves again. Continue on our passage this way. All right. 